but somebody wants to make a joke out of my dad's death, and that's just not okay. Duck, 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 chicken, chicks, duck. What is going on, Sax family? How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video, guys. There's something important that I would like to talk about at the very end of this video. So do me a favor, don't skip through, watch the vlog today, enjoy it because the ending of this video is gonna be pretty sad. Hey, can you guys can you guys just let me vlog for a second and talk to the camera, ducks and chickens? Jeez. Anyway, there's something very important to me that I want to talk about with you guys. Something that recently happened that kind of shook me up, got me angry, upset. I have a whole bunch of mixed feelings about the whole entire situation itself. Uh, but do me a favor, make sure you watch the whole entire vlog today. Uh, because I want this vlog to be able to make you guys happy and entertain and escape your lives for however long this video may be. But just know, at the very end, we're going to have a little real talk and something very serious. And I, I you know, I, I kind of talked about how I feel. And I just, there's just so much going on right now through my mind about this whole entire situation that I just want you guys to enjoy the video, be happy, up till we get serious. But without further ado, Sax family, let's get right into today's vlog. And we're now inside my bedroom. And I, I, I know I've shown this before, guys, but there's a lot of progress actually happening currently. As you guys can see, we got the desk and the setup over there. I've yet to actually still have my PlayStation fully set up. We have all the wires here, but I'm looking forward to live streaming again soon over on my Twitch. But basically, we have the same by my desk again because it just has a bunch of random things. And there's a bunch of random stuff there, boxes. And then I have a pile of clothes, which I'm still going through. And I got to get bins that I can put here to actually use as storage for my clothes. And then there's more clothes down there in a lot of bags. So there's a lot of clothes that I actually need to go through that I need to get rid of. I think honestly I'm going to get rid of all my clothes to just cop more sacks and merch. But real quick, if you're not yet subscribed and a part of the family, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any brand new videos here on the channel. This morning I actually started my day off by actually taking a nice mile walk here on the treadmill. I've been walking every day since I moved home and a fun fact is I'm also down 9 pounds since I moved back which is pretty good. So I'm down to 260. I was about 269, 270 when I moved here. So every day I've just been walking and uh, occasionally benching. I mean, look at those five pound weight. But another thing that's been helping me guys with also losing weight again is I've been drinking at least a gallon of water a day. One of my goals since I moved home was to focus a lot on my diet and my health. And my mom's been helping out a lot with that by doing the meal prepping for me. And honestly, I just feel so good now. And speaking about my mom from before, we're gonna go pay her a visit. Hi, right, mom. How are you? How you been? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. What? Why are you covering your face? Because I'm eating my dinner. What are you eating? I'm actually having oatmeal and yogurt. Ew. No, ew. It's good for ew. you. Ew. Anyways, I just came to, you know, get your honest opinion on Nicole because you met her for the first time the other night. I like her. She seems nice. Yeah, she is. Um, she seems kind of quiet. Well, I mean, you haven't really got then to know again, her. I was just going to say, then I just met her, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think you guys would get along great. I mean, like, I don't know, because I, I, I know how you've gotten, like, with my exes in the past, and same with Owen's, like, you've gotten attached, so mm -hmm. I don't want you to get too attached to them. I'm not going to. Yeah. Well, cool. So, um, that's all I want to ask you. This is your honest opinion. Okay. Yeah. So wait until she meets dad. Yeah, maybe I might not even introduce her to, very, to Jim um, for a while. Uh, she may be scared of him for a while. Who wouldn't, guys? My stepdad was in. Uh, can I even say what he did for a living? All I can say is he made bad guys disappear and things go kaboom. That's as much as I could actually say. No, dude, he was. In the service for a very long time, so. Yeah, I mean, well, he's, he's old. He's a hard... Mom, you know you can't curse. I just had no. to bleep that. He's a hard... No, Mom, don't even, don't even bother saying that. I had to bleep that now. <laughs> oh, yeah. YouTube is fin family friendly. Well, I mean, not just YouTube, but my channel's family friendly. You should know that by now, Mom. Okay. Sorry, Saxton family. But, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go talk about some things to, to the camera right now. Just kind of talk to my audience about something that recently happened. Oh, speaking of something that recently happened, I watched a video. 
Uh, that's probably what I'm about to be go talking about. Yeah, so, um, obviously my emotions got the best of me, but you need to know that what happened to your father was not your fault. I know, but it's just like, I've always just put the blame on myself since I was a kid. I know, and I did too, and I know that it wasn't our fault. It's his genetic makeup, you know, you just have to... But like, I just... Some random dude coming into where I'm at and then blaming me for my father's death just... What? And it thinks it, it thinks it's a joke, just isn't cool. No, but obviously from watching him, he's... You know, you could tell he's, he wasn't right in the head. Yeah. So, don't ever think that what happened to daddy was your fault because it wasn't. Alright. You know, he chose to eat crappy food all the time and not take care of himself. Which, since I moved home, as you guys know, I talked about before, my mom's been helping me with meal prep. I've been down nine pounds since I moved back, which is great. I went from like 269 to 260, and my end of summer goal is to get under 200 pounds. So I don't end up like my father, which is, yeah. Yeah, that would not be good because. No, it wouldn't. It would not be good at all. You're like daddy in a lot of ways. I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to be like grandma. Yeah. And do that. I cannot. I would never come out of that. So. Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna go set the camera up and just basically talk to everybody about it, about how I feel. I mean, you saw the the guy wasn't right in his head, but it, it's still like, it makes zero sense why somebody would do that, whether you're right in the head or not. Why you would go and joke about somebody's dead father. I just, I don't get it. I probably will never get it. I know you don't understand it, and nobody does. No. But it's just, there's certain things you know in life you can't joke about. Yeah. And that's one of them. If you guys happen to see me looking down at all, I'm uh, looking on my phone for the monitor playback here because my Sony a6300 doesn't have a basically LCD screen that comes out like a lot of Canon cameras that I've used and still use. Um, so yeah, if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my monitor, make sure everything's in focus. All right, let's talk about this real quick. Recently there was an event that shook me up and got me pretty much angry and upset about something. Somebody accused me of my dad not actually being dead. And you know, I wish that was true. I wish my dad wasn't dead. I wish that every single day. I wish my dad was still here. I wish, you know, he was here for all the things I've been able to accomplish in my life. But unfortunately, when I was eight years old, my dad died of colon cancer. And I know I've talked about this in plenty of videos before about my dad and losing him and how it's affected me. But to have somebody accuse you of your dad's death being fake, it just, it kills me on the inside that people are just so freaking dumb and at the same time it hurts so bad just because every day i wish my dad was still here words cannot describe how i'm feeling i mean i'm angry i'm mad i'm upset like there's plenty of different feelings and emotions going on right now that somebody literally had i guess you could say the balls to come out to where i was publicly and make a joke out of my dad's death with the Chucky doll. And I'm gonna link a video down below in the video description that you guys go check out after this one, and you can see the whole incident itself. But I just wanted to talk about it, you know, because it, it just it just grinds my gears that somebody would come out to where I was at and make a joke out of my dad's death saying he's not actually dead. And, you know, being eight years old, watching my father pass away from colon cancer, it rocked my world. There's just so much my dad missed out of my life from when I was eight. You know, he, he missed birthdays, he missed holidays, he missed me graduating high school, he missed me graduating the fire academy. A lot of events that I would have loved to have my dad around for. And you guys know that, you guys have seen the videos where I break down on camera crying about me missing my dad. You guys see me go to the cemetery with my 100,000 subscriber play button dedicating it to him. But somebody wants to make a joke out of my dad's death. 
and that's just not okay. There isn't a day that goes by that I'm never not thinking of my dad and how I wish he was still here. I'm grateful for the time that I got to spend with my dad. I'm also grateful that God sent a great stepfather into my life to protect us and help raise us, but still doesn't take away the fact that my dad died. And just honestly, it's not a joke. It's not okay to, to make a joke about somebody's parents passing away. If there's one thing I'd like you guys to take away from this, it's never make fun of somebody that lost a parent. Don't, don't make a joke about it, because it's not funny. You don't know what that person still goes through. Even though I was eight years old when it happened, I'm 22 now. You don't know what I still go through mentally about losing my father. It's something tragic that happened in my life that just still messes with my head. Anyway guys, I'm sorry for the video to be ending like this today. Um, it just, I had to talk about it. I had to let you guys know how I feel about it because I don't like the fact that somebody that I don't even know would come in and make a joke about my father's death. But Saxon family, that's gonna wrap it up for this video today. I'm sorry this video had to end like this, but just know I love you guys, and if you guys are ever going through anything in your lives, don't be afraid to reach out to me, whether it's email, Instagram DMs, or even uh, adding me on Twitter. I know I'm not the only one going through stuff, and I know a lot of you guys are going through things as well. And I'm always going to do my damn best to always try responding to as many people as possible. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new upload coming here to the channel. Until next time, Saxon family. It's been your boy Jeff. Keep it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. Well, peace.